Like this is how women mess up their happiness. They'll listen to society. Society will tell a woman who's making more than her man that she needs to be unhappy with that. Yet, society doesn't know her man. Society doesn't know what he does for her. What if every day she gets back from work, he's already cooked a meal, even though he went to work as well. What did he say? And already cleaned up everything. First of all, bruh, he started with, this is how women mess up their happiness. My question, bruh, is what about your happiness? Your happiness is that old slogan, happy wife, happy life. But that's beta. Just because you put a woman on a pedestal, don't mean she'll respect you and this is what he think he think role reversals is going to get him some type of brownie points but bruh you just being a simp this is the type of man who would be all for a matriarch and letting the woman lead women eat this shit up until they find out he cheated and blame it on narcissism and blame all men because they picked this type of duel. So you really going to work, coming home, cooking and cleaning seven days a week for happy wife, happy life. Yeah, OK. I think paying a chef and someone to clean for both of y'all will be a better look because it's not making you subordinate like you need a mother figure. Beta. Guys, 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 guys. Oh, my gosh. Why won't you just say what you want to say? Go ahead and stop tap dancing around the conversation and just get straight to the point. What it is that you're wanting is a woman that you can do whatever the hell you want to do to them, all the way down to force sex on them. Whoa, 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 hang on, guys. Use the money that they bring into the home, sex slave. What the hell's going on? That's it. You need a woman to empower you, to make you feel good. I just listened to a man saying that men have been holding the planet down since the very beginning and women are not valid. So I'm trying to figure out, make it make sense. The math ain't mathing because if women were not valid, how in the hell did y'all get here? <laughs> y'all done set up here and soaked in all this European testosterone. 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 The same people that brutalized not only women back in slavery, but men too. Um, I'm starting to, I'm starting to smell some uh, butt breaking going on here cause that's what y'all sound like. Oh, women ain't valid. Go ahead. Go ahead and be part of this, um, this baby factor and they creating so that you won't have no women. But you did, but you want to have sex with them, right? You want to stick your, your pee pee in a little ho ho, right? Your pee pee in a little ho ho, right? But you don't need no woman. Stop having sex with them. That, sh that should be it. Since, since they're not valid, they're not used for, any for anything. Stop having sex with them. Stop looking for them to take care of you. Stop going overseas to go get this traditional woman then. If women are not valid and men hold it down, go date yourself a man then. Because that's what you need. Because you seem like y'all men think that men are the best thing in the world. Go date yourself a man. Oh, you can't do that because you're homophobic. Mm, mm. Boy, y'all full of crap. Mm-hmm. I be seeing you, girl. This duel was all over the place. When have men ever said we want to force sex on women? That would be called great. No sane-minded man would think or expect to be able to do that. That's one. Two, if you're traditional, you don't care about what a woman brings in as far as money. If you're egalitarian, then of course, 100%, 100%. I mean, what's the issue on that? Three, oh, and we want a sex slave since we provide the provisions, right? I never heard a man say any of these talking points. I think this dude is doing a whole lot of gaslighting. Four, once again, who said women are not valid? This ninja here, man. <laughs> if you're traditional, you think it's roles. As an egalitarian, you think both genders have something to offer. The fuck is he talking about? Five, you need a man and a woman for life to form. Like, what the fuck, bruh? Six, as far as acting European, ask them feminists, what do black men get out of Marxism and communism? Because all I hear is what it's going to do for women. So that system may be excluding you too. Seven, by his mannerisms, I think he's the one who really wants to date men. 
beta. Let me say this. Any man who speaks that they cannot date a woman with kids, he has a mental problem. <laughs> really? You're gonna make us all listen to it again because you couldn't understand? Really? Any man who speaks that they cannot date a woman with kids, he has a mental problem. <laughs> We are in a different society where women pretty much going to have children or a child. And if a man say, I, I can't deal with you because you got kids. But then again, he's going to put a baby into a woman. Something that's wrong. You see, it's not that he can't date a woman with kids. He don't know how to be a father. He don't know what it take to be a real man to another woman child and discipline and to teach that child. He don't understand the rules because he never had a goddamn child in the first place man this dude got that handyman cape on he really going hard to tell us we not real men if we don't take care of another man's child yeah okay nigga he really said you got mental problems if you don't date a woman with kids nigga please in biz mark voice so if we don't invest in another man's kid we crazy nah bruh you crazy straight that shit these dudes really think they simping will get them somewhere with women, but women will not respect you. Hell, she might even get back with the baby father and overlook everything you done like it was nothing. Yet, you caping. So I gotta take care of someone else's kid first to learn how to be a father to my kids, huh? The fuck? Protect your seed, avoid BMs. Any man who speaks that they cannot date a woman with kids, he has a mental problem. There's a new sheriff in town, and this is his badge. Ready? Ready? Tired. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna get the baby. You smell good. No, I smell good. You know what? I think you be using the same perfume my ex used to use. You should keep buying that. It smells good. You better act up. Good. You better act up. <laughs> For real, Zay, I'm not playing with you. Dude. Why would you do that? You just made me mess up my hair because you want to be stupid. I'm not playing with you. Don't ever. Look at your face. <laughs> don't reference me. <laughs> look look I don't... at your face. You blew it. Ah, stop. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. You mad because you, mad you got it on you. Now you look stupid. You gotta don't stop. reference me to your ex. You gotta stop. I don't care. Now go get me some more water. How about that? I ain't getting you nothing. Go get me some more water. You look stupid. You look stupid. Now your hair look gonna be you. frizzy. I don't care. Now I can fix hair. my hair. I can fix my hair. And that's why you look stupid because you're on the couch tonight. Now this is a married couple and this was a prank, but he wasn't expecting that type of reaction. But she had no problem. Humiliated him. I think the prank backfired. What's disturbing is this nigga still posted the video even though she humiliated him. Just think how this dude is walking on eggshells in his marriage. You know she flipped out about other things in the same manner. The force she put behind that throw was a real reaction. These dudes be betas in marriage too. Beta! <laughs> 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 i don't know why it's so hard for some men to just like support the women that they say they want to be in relationship with like to not break her spirit to support her ambitions and goals to actually feed into the woman that they or to the women that they're saying that they're wanting to spend time with or that they're wanting to be in a relationship with to not to be right all the time to actually listen to her point of view, to actually hear the things that she's saying, to actually hold space for her pain. I don't understand why that's so hard for some men to do. Not all men, duh. That's not what I'm saying. For some men, and these are the men that incidentally aren't getting any action. And women are avoiding like the plague now because they are not, they're tired of the foolishness. And instead of saying, hey, you know what? Let me just go talk to a therapist or a good friend or someone who will hold me accountable and be like, yo, what is it about me that's causing women to, or women of value to run from me like the plague? They're going to make it about women and insist on doing the things that aren't working. I don't get it. When anyone go to this nigga for date and coach advice. And these are the men that incidentally aren't getting any action. And women are avoiding like the plague now. And I'm sure he's been in enough relationships to know just how to keep a woman happy. Beta. 
I know you, but how do you know me? How how do how did you get here? I've been talking to you. You've been talking to me. Yeah. I didn't give you it's my address. Me. What do you mean it's you? It's me. From where? What is going on? Who is this? Like, who sent you here? Nobody sent me here. How do you know it's where me, I live? It's me, baby. It's me. Beta.